In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. And with your you're paying attention, you know, it's the red vestment. Today we have the feast of Saints Philip and James, one of the few times that we've had a special feast that overrides the days of Easter, which go on for seven weeks. But one of the few times we've had red vestments on. So kind of a special day. Let us all call to mind our sins. But Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the way to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we pray. O God, who gladden us each year on the feast of the apostles, Philip, James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I hand on to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm this morning, their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their, Their message goes out through all the earth. earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him. You've seen him. Philip said, well, Master, show us the Father, and that'll be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you so long? 
and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to, I don't speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to whoever believes in me will do the works I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I'm going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. So on this feast of Philip and James, we get one of Paul's most important readings from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where he says, I hand it on to you what I myself received. That is an extremely important line. And he goes on to kind of give a core of the faith that Jesus died and rose. I hand it to you what was handed to me. The key word there in Latin, the word is trod, pass on. I passed on, tradition, passed on. Okay, we have the Bible. What makes us different than the people down in Shiloh Baptist? They're very good Christians down there. I'm sure most of them, I hope most of them practice, I hope all of them practice Christianity very well. I hope all of us practice Christianity very well. Okay, we have the Bible. They have the Bible. Okay, we have tradition. That's capital T. Not little t. A little t would be that we bless ourselves when we enter church. That's a little tradition. Big T, capital tradition, says that the Holy Spirit continues to work in the church today. They have the Bible, but that's all they have. It's all they have. We believe God continues to speak to us through the power of the Holy Spirit to carry on. What, I mean, the Bible doesn't contain all the truths of all time. Of course not. It couldn't. Different things happen every day in our day. God continues to speak to us through the power of the Holy Spirit, through this thing we call the church. They have the Bible, but they have only the Bible. We have the Bible, but we have tradition that builds on the Bible. When the, when the, Holy, when the Holy Spirit speaks through the Pope, he's, he's telling us something that's important. God didn't stop communicating with us, or else we'd be in, in dire shape if we only had the Bible. So God continues to work through this imperfect thing we call the church, but the institution he founded and continues to invigorate through the power of the Holy Spirit. And it was passed on to him, and it's passed on to us today. Now, go on Facebook this morning, you'll see a lot of things. I bet you I saw 50 First Holy Communion pictures this morning alone. It's that time of year, and ours will be coming up, okay? That's a tradition. That's a, but it can't be about just, well, my kid got first communion. That's a step. But is that kid going to live the faith and continue to understand what we believe as Catholics as they grow? Are they going to pass on the faith? Sad to say, for some kids, their first communion might be their last communion. The faith is not being strongly passed on. It's just not. It has to be passed on, passed on. Communion's part of it, big thing, big party with the family. Great, grandma's there, that's great. But it has to be more than that. It was passed on to us. We pass it on to those who come after us. To children not yet born, we will pass on the faith. What a challenge we face. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. Our response this morning, risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Pope Francis and all who lead our church that they might turn from fear and be driven by love to lead the church in bearing good fruit. We pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders, that they might work for the good of all people, especially those who are most vulnerable. 
we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Toch Purcell, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Well, God, late now in this Easter season, on this feast of Philip and James, help us to pass on our faith to our young, to the next generation. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings we bring on the Feast of the Apostles, Philip and James. Bestow on us a religion pure and undefiled. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you built your church on the foundation of the apostles to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending with the host of angels, we praise you as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, they've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that by contemplating you and your Son, together with the apostles, Philip, James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorify God with our lives. Thanks be to God.